Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is how to solve conflicts. We live in a world where there is lots of aggressive energy, too much wars, too many wars between countries. There is a lot of energy and human resources that are aimed at sustaining machines, war machines, systems that are aimed at attacking or defending ourselves as nations or as human beings. All these weapons, all these guns, all these um, you know, bombs and technology that is invested into creating and sustaining conflict, it's massive. And uh, imagine what would happen on this planet if we were using those resources for the the better for humankind, for you know, healing, for giving resources and, and wealth to everybody if uh, we were using these resources that are invested into war machines you know, to create more harmony and love on this planet, guess what would happen? <laughs> it's a massive upgrade, it's a massive potential upgrade and uh, what we need to do to be able to do that is not just to solve the conflicts on a political level. You see from where I am right here, I don't have much impact on the choices that some countries have. You know, right now there are a few wars going on on this planet. How am I going to influence what is going on over there unless I become an, an activist or some form of... I'm given some form of power to be able to influence these governments. You see, it's, it's a little bit out of my hands. But you know, when it comes to these choices, but when it comes to educating myself and educating other human beings, the power to generate harmony and respect on this human race is huge. And you have that kind of power too. So if you want to create harmony and love and dissolve conflicts on this planet, the place where you have to start with is within yourself. This is very, very important to understand. You have to get back to the roots of what creates conflict on a large scale and solve that on a micro scale in your own life. So what I invite you to do is first understand that conflicts on a large scale, they are the result of aggressive impulses that are as alive in a nation as they might be potentially alive inside of you. This is the thing that we need to tame. It is the aggressive impulses, which are natural, aggressive, animal impulses. This is part of our animal or instinctual blueprint. Okay, so this is the first thing to understand. Aggressive energy. The second core quality that we are using when we are engaging into wars into conflicts is the urge or the need to control other people or other nations. What nations are doing when they are invading another country, they are taking over control. It means that they are using the power to dominate, control, enslave other human beings, other groups or other nations. And so these are the two qualities that we need to tame. It's like aggressive energy and control. Okay? So imagine that you direct your own energy, your own aggressive power, instead of using that energy to attack other people or to challenge them, but you direct this towards yourself, towards self-improvement, towards your own personal or spiritual development or training, then that creates a very different outcome. The same when it comes to trying to control other people's lives in your field, in your environment. Realize what happens, for instance, you are partnering, partnering with somebody, right? For in a romantic relationship and you are trying to control that person's lives, life. What is going to happen? That person is going to respond in an aggressive way. They are going to respond with defense mechanisms to protect the right for self-determination. So that control impulse is already creating a friction because it creates the friction between two energy realities. There is you and there is this other person. And then in the process of you trying to have control over that person, it's going to create an energetic response from the core of that person. Not always, unless the person that you are trying to control surrenders, you know, and accepts your authority, your power, your dominance. 
then that's that's a possibility as well but if they want to defend themselves and stay sovereign of their life this is going to create the friction and that friction might escalate towards other uh, degrees deeper degrees of of uh, conflict rivalry and friction and so it's important to understand these dynamics inside of you. How are you going to solve it on a large scale if we don't get these dynamics already right here in this, you know, in the scale of our human lives? So what I encourage you to do is to check into your, in your life. And right now, check if there is any conflict going on in your life right now. Is there any tension? Is there any friction? And look at those dynamics and nail it. Understand what it takes, what you need to do to be able to solve, you know, these specific dynamics in your life. And so what this might mean is let go of trying to control another people or other people's lives. It's a very simple thing. You let go of trying to control their lives. The moment you do that, you will realize that something is happening, which is magical, which is the release of attention. You go like, I don't agree with your choice. And if I was in your situation, I would make a different choice, but I'm not here to try to control your choice. Okay, so this means that you reinforce the respect for that person. You see how simple it is, but the pattern that wants to control or have this overflow of aggressive energy, you know, where does that come from? For instance, you have a, a mosquito flying in your space, right? And you smash it straight away. There is an impulse of aggression coming and you destroy that poor being's life <laughs> that didn't do anything to you. Where does that come from? You see, it's a defense mechanism. It's, a, it's, an, it's an intention or a desire to protect your life and to create safety so that this mosquito doesn't have a chance to bite you. Okay? So it's a defense mechanism. It's a desire to control your own space and your own sphere. So on this micro scale, this is where we start. We need to find ways of respecting each other enhancing those qualities, manifesting them, mastering them, respect, let go, release. How do you use your control in your life? Where do you direct this energy? And then master it in your system before we can do that on a large scale. And again, you know, the benefits of this are massive. It's like if you lead a life where there is no tension with anybody, where there is no friction, guess what? It's a lot of energy that is being released. If you wake up in the morning and you are in, in tension with a neighbor for the next 20 years, imagine how much energy is invested into that conflict. That's not cool, okay? It's not something that, you know, it's just fire being generated for the sake of the fire, for the conflict itself. The conflict might never find resolution and you might be stuck in this friction zone for an extended period of time. So what if you can walk to that person and say, you know what, we've been in conflict for a long time, I just want to be friends with you. Here. Here is a, a bunch of mangoes for you, a present for you. I just want to reinforce the fact that I feel no aggressive energy towards you and I would love us to be, to be friends. So if you need anything, if there is anything I can contribute to into your life and you, I can help you be a happier person, don't hesitate to ask. I'm here to partner with you. I'm here as a friend. I'm here to, to help you rise to your true potential. Okay, you see, there is, no, there is no rivalry. In the moment you position yourself from that place, you are, you are enhancing that person's qualities and giving them space to be themselves without trying to control them or aggress them. And so, you know, I can give you a simple example. For instance, I'm here in, in, in Bali, right, in the rice fields. The other day, the, the, the farmer who has been working on this land for the last 50, 60 years, he has this little patch over there. So he comes into, um, into the fence and he starts chopping some of these beautiful, um, um, I think there were some frangipanis and hibiscus, red hibiscus, you know, these beautiful flowers and they had these high branches and uh, he starts chopping them. And so me here as a visitor, there are different ways I can deal with. I can, I can look at it. I go like, why is he chopping my trees? Yeah, you know, why, why is he doing that? So I could be reactive, right? And then we create a friction. I go to him, I say, hey, don't chop these trees. They are on my property, on my side over here. I don't want you to, to, to chop them. 
and um, that would be a possible response that would lead to tension and potential conflict that eventually this, this man is over here in this field every day. It means that there would be a tension between us that would be sustained and that would lead to, you know, a friction that would be by far not the best solution. So instead I, you know, I, I check with him, oh, you're chopping the trees. Interesting. He says, yeah. And then he, he gives me a hint. He says, yeah, there is, they are high. You know, he speaks Balinese and I, I don't, I don't, so I, I'm not communicating in, in uh, you know, in, in verbal language, but he gives me the hints and he tells me, yeah, the, the, the shade of the trees, um, the, the trees are making shade on his crops, on the things that he's, so the crops are getting less light and therefore it's, you know, it's altering his ability to do his work because there is less sunshine coming on his crops, on what he's trying to, to, to grow. So once he says that, I look at it from his perspective. You see, I put myself in his shoes and say, wow, that's a valid point. And guess what? What am I going to choose? I'm going to choose harmony with that guy. I go like, yeah, I understand. And I'm a visitor in your land here. You as a farmer, you have been cultivating this place. I want to honor your humanness and honor your needs. And I'm going to put my needs for having these beautiful flowers that fulfill my, my you know, a part of my satisfaction. But I'm going to let go of, of trying to control it to sustain harmony with you. So I prioritize that. You see, it's a conscious choice. I could be aggressive. I could say, hey, don't chop these trees. What are you doing? You know, and instead I go to him, I say, I value, I can see your point, I understand, and I can see that you making a living with your crops, you are a dedicated farmer, you are loving this place like, like your baby for an extended period of time. I just arrived here, <laughs> you know. And so I consciously decide to prioritize. And I'm not, you know, I'm not nailing it every time. Sometimes I might enter into rivalry or conflict with people. You know, it might still happen. I might not, I might catch myself and sometimes I go, oh, what am I doing, man? This is, this is nonsense. So, but what I want you to, 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 to do is to understand that in this very moment where I make that choice with that farmer, it's, it's a life-changing event. It's a life-changing event because I um, prioritize our heart-to-heart -heart connection. I love that guy. He's great. He's taking care of himself and his family. I have no desire to enter in conflict with him because he's making certain choices that don't match my agenda. But now his agenda has become my agenda. I want him to make money with his land. And so we create this synergy and go like, yeah, I can see, you know, and uh, you chopping this tree is your responsibility. You are doing it. It's, it's your karma if there is something that you're doing there that is not right, but I'm not going to interfere with that process. I'm going to hold space for you to be able to do what you need to do with this land. And in the time, you know, in my own life and probably in your own life, you will realize that you might have dozens and dozens of micro choices that you're making like this one that have the power to either generate conflict and tension or generate love, happiness, respect, joy, and expansion. And again, you know, in the human nature, this is how we have been programmed, tension, rivalry, conflict, aggressive energy, all that is part of being human. And if, if you want to be in conflict with people, that's fine, you know, it's a choice. But bring awareness and realizing that you are designing your relationships con consciously. And if you want to have more peace and harmony, or you feel that there are too many wars on this planet, then instead of complaining about something that you can control over there, try looking into your microcosmic reality and go like, wow, actually I'm generating the same kind of conflict. It's not happening on a large scale, but on a, on a small scale, the dynamics are the same because I'm attacking or aggressing or I'm being aggressed or I'm trying to control or somebody's trying to control me. Okay, so the moment you solve that on a small scale, it's like your whole system goes like, oh my God, that feels right. Wow, you know, there is a liberating energy that appears in your heart. There is a, a release of contraction in your solar plexus. There is something that opens up that you go like, mm-hmm, yes, yes, that feels right. 
So here's my invitation to you. Check into your, uh, your own reality. Are there any conflicts that are being sustained uh, in, that, in that area? And uh, if there are, what are you going to do about it? Bring awareness to it, understand the dynamics. Um, try not to be like, blame every, everything and everybody else except you. <laughs> you know, you go take responsibility for what is being created and um, see what you can do about it. I would love to hear, you know, the results that you might be getting if you notice that there is a place where you can do better, where you can bring harmony in a place where there has been ongoing conflict. If you can do that, you know, you will see it's, it feels like a massive victory. And um, yeah, post in the comments, send me some, some questions. If you want to have sessions with me, go to vitalcoaching.com slash coaching. We can have a, um, a Skype session and find ways of bringing back harmony into your life if, if it's something that uh, your system is needed. I love you.